On the city beat tonight, rain certainly proved to be a challenge at this year's Penrod Arts Festival. Tonight, the money is being tallied up from the 50th annual event. And our Matt McCutcheon shows us the impact that goes far beyond the one-day show. Well, there are thousands of pieces of art at this year's Penrod Festival from vendors all across the country, like Georgia, for example. There's also an important cause that each and every person here at Penrod is helping to fund. The entertainers and artists are just part of what's fueled Penrod for 50 years. Among the hundreds of vendors, each creation is a labor of love, and these pieces have perhaps the most unique story. This is one of our 17-year-old patients who's been in a hospital for a very long time. The words she has artfully designed and painted speak volumes. Brave, hope, patience. She talks about the ironic of being a patient with patients a lot um, and finding the strength in her illness, um, too. These are more than just art. It's therapy and stability at a time when her world has been turned upside down. We actually let the children have a lot of control over what they want to do because they don't have a lot of control over kind of what they're dealing with in the hospital. And each person attending Penrod helps that cause. Money raised from admission at the One Day Festival goes to more than four dozen agencies. The art therapy program at Riley is one of them, helping heal children beyond the field of medicine. Sometimes we'll do like really directed things based on their emotions, whether they're angry, sad, you know, dealing with their pain, trying to help them control that pain. You know, when their mental health is doing well, we're hoping that their medical side is also improving. Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.